Hello friends, this is Jampesh here with Code with JV channel and in this video we are going to see and learn about the breadcrumbs in the Visual Studio Code editor. If you haven't heard about Visual Studio Code and if you are using Atom, Sublime, Tex or any other code editors, I would highly recommend to check out the Visual Studio Code like it's just amazing. I absolutely loved it. So you can go to code.visualstudiocode.com uh, and check out the feature. It has got IntelliSense, debugging, uh, it has got built-in Git and like there are thousands or hundreds of app, uh, uh, extensions are there. Whether you are developing Vue.js, React or Angular or PHP, Node.js, C Sharp, whatever you, you name it like Python and uh, it got lots of lots of extensions and uh, the another feature i like is like debugging i have never seen such a powerful debugging things here with uh, visual studio code so i highly recommend uh, this editor for anything so now let's again get back to our main uh, focus of this video so like recently in the august uh, Studio Code version 1.27 was introduced, and there was like a breadcrumb improvements there. So breadcrumbs are like kind of a breadcrumbs uh, shown on the top, and uh, you can do, uh, you can see like uh, um, this is the set uh, like shortcut Control Shift uh, semicolon. You can see, uh, if the breadcrumbs is unable then like it will show you there so let me uh, directly jump into the Visual Studio Code and let's so let me show this thing so like uh, if, if your uh, breadcrumb settings are not enabled then you can go to settings and you can search bread and here the checkbox is there which you need to tick and it will enable your breadcrumbs Okay, so this is the same uh, Vue.js application which I created uh, for demonstrating Vue.js to a binding in the previous video. So see, here also you can see like this is the hello world uh, dot view and from here I can click on that and here I can see like what are the, the contents of the file and if I want to navigate to click on this it will mean navigate me to this so like this is the HTML stuffs there but if I write uh, uh, if I want to go to uh, uh, subscript one uh, I can click on that and it will go me hit me there so that is for like Vue.js let me uh, go to a few other applications so this is if you see like uh, it's a Node.js application like ES6 Node.js application and here also like if you click on any files here you can see like that is uh, showing uh, all these stuffs right and from here like if you go to here it will show me whole folder structure so I don't need this explorer bar so I can close that and even I can navigate from here itself right so this is just a amazing thing now let me show you one of the languages which is like from google like golang it also support the golang uh, there of course uh, you need to have that uh, go plugins there which i do uh, like this one uh, and it will provide you the intelligence and all the required steps there or the go and breadcrumbs also support the go steps there so here you can see like what are you can see the contents of each files there and same way for the angular app so like this is a pretty standard basic angular app and here also like it will provide the same thing and which is there in TypeScript so like I, whether it's JavaScript whether it's TypeScript whether it's PHP it provides all kind of stops and you 
now never need um, the explorer bar to be open you can navigate directly from here itself is uh, like I like uh, this extension very much and recently I have I fall in love with it so I'm sure you, you are also going to like this uh, so if you like this video uh, then please do hit the like button and if you don't like it just let me know how I can improve my videos so like uh, that will benefit that will beneficial for me as well as you guys also and please uh, do not forget to subscribe my channel code with JV uh, it gives me motivation if you subscribe my channel uh, to create such kind of videos uh, so see you uh, then uh, till next video and hope you like this video thank you